once again the Philippines' best young players will be tested in international play. The men's U16 national team is in Surabaya, Indonesia, to battle five other teams in the group stage of the ASEAN Football Federation U16 Championship. This squad, like other Philippine national youth teams, concluded their training camp at the PFF Artificial Turf Pitch in the San Lazaro Leisure Park in Carmona, Cavite last Wednesday. The pitch is part of the PFF National Training Center. The Philippines kicked off this campaign with a match against the hosts on July 29. It was a difficult game, with Indonesia running out 8-0 winners. Two days later they will try to bounce back against Cambodia. August 2 will see the Pinoys dueling with Myanmar, followed by a tough match against Vietnam on the 4th. The group stage will end with a test against Timor Leste on August 6. The top two teams proceed to the semi-finals. The celebrated Sandro Reyes, a Marindiquino who was trained in the FC Barcelona youth system, is in the side. The attacking midfielder is currently in the youth team of FC Sants, a club from Catalonia in the Spanish third tier. This is Sandro's second campaign with a youth national squad. Reyes's sense teammate, Antoine Ortega, a Filipino Frenchman, is also going to Surabaya. Ortega plays in the holding midfield slot deeper than Reyes. Hopefully, their club chemistry will help the national team score goals in this tournament. Up top is Filipino American TJ McDermott from Fredericksburg, Virginia. The striker is so gifted that he is reportedly on the radar of the USA national youth team program. McDermott will be playing this competition with a heavy heart. His father passed away while he was en route to the Philippines for this camp. McDermott elected to play anyway, perhaps believing that his late father would have wanted it that way. Another notable on the squad is James Tuazin, a gifted Alongo attacking mid from Central Philippine University who has impressed coach Rig Harada. He can control the game and he has good ideas on the pitch, says the veteran Japanese mentor. Harada was also effusive of Ortega, noting his his organizational skills and leadership as well as his decent shooting. The coach also said that Reyes can make a difference and praised his one-touch passes that often leave defenders confused. Another talented striker is the towering Renard U from Xavier School. Florence Tacarden is also in the squad. The Claritian winger, whose older brother Fidel scored the game winner in the U19 team's 2-1 win against Singapore, is also in the roster. Atenian Andy Roxas, nephew of former national team player Randy, is a box-to-box -box threat, while Kent Brian Valenzuela is another offensive weapon from Aloilo. The first-choice goalie is Frank Barrera from San Beda. The native of Baselin was scouted in the Mindanao Peace Games. Harada admires Barrera's reactions and pointed out a huge save he made in Wednesday's scrimmage win against Claret. Harada also appreciated the PFF artificial turf pitch within the San Lazaro Lisier Park where the team trained. He noted that it is the same quality as the synthetic turf fields in Japan, and he is eager to see the planned dormitories, classrooms, and offices that will help complete the center. As always we are proud to play our role in boosting the performance of our youth national teams, says Manila Jockey Club VP for Marketing, Eduardo Ramirez de Arellano. MJC manages the facility. We are sure that training on the world-class field in Carmona could give this talented squad an edge in Indonesia.